And we're live. We're live. Tucker and the Beard. I let back you say again. it this time. You did. You didn't take my money yeah, this time. I appreciate that. Coming live from Prescott E News. Yeah. How's it going? It's a good day. It's a good day. Say you have to go see a movie on a Tuesday. It, it, I know, I can't. I'll be bad. We're good on no. both cameras here. Yeah, we're good to go. Okay. So um yeah, we we went and saw Aquaman. Yes. I was gonna say the I I was gonna try and lead in with you know the how much water Prescott has received today and what a fitting day into, a yeah. very fitting day for it it only Aquaman. seemed appropriate right. to watch Aquaman today um you know because it was yeah it was, it's been raining balls all day man yeah it's been <laughs> nonstop um raining but you know that's a good good time to be at the movies yeah I was. Yeah. So as a testament to how how much the public is appreciating this particular film, um, more people than I thought were going to be in the theater on a Tuesday morning at ten o'clock. Yeah, I was going to say I th- I think right bef- right when we were walking into the theater in itself, I said we're going to be the only ones here. Wrong. I was I was I was very wrong. <laughs> nice nice touch on that one. Wrong. Yes, thank you. <laughs> so hi Shayla. Um. Listen, let's get the elephant in the room out of the way. Yes. yes. Jason Momoa is ridiculously good looking. I, I I think just before we started this, somebody was stating here that they had wanted to go see that. They were, you know, a, a female here was saying that they had wanted to go see that movie. And I think we both agreed, well, kind of, of, could, kind of understand why. And, I, I, you know, by the end of the movie, I was... Gentlemen, if Even. if you want to take your lady who is not typically keen on going to see superhero and comic book movies, this, this is, is your this is your opportunity. This is the chance. Get them get them hooked into the storyline here. Um, Cause, yeah, because it's got. I mean, I'd be lying if I said there wasn't some eye candy for the gentleman there as well. But the, that's true. The, the the main the, the main, main star the, the main attraction is, is is Jason Momoa who is again ridiculously good looking. Yeah, I I I, I will not disagree. Um, because um, yeah, by the end of things, I was, you know, I'm like, were wow. you questioning some things? I was, I was like, thank God I'm married because I'd were be you, running off to a, L.A. You're taking a deep look inside yourself <laughs> and just going, hmm, not quite. I that wonder, much. <laughs> not quite that much. So. Um, yeah, we but for the the ones who are not in the know of Aquaman. Yes, which it, is most people. A lot of people. Um yeah, he's he, in the Justice League, but yes, this no one a, cares about Aquaman. <laughs> until now. Until now. Until like now. no one cared about Aquaman until Jason Momoa was Aquaman. Until he stepped up to the plate. Yeah. Take that, Adrian. Adrian. It's an entourage reference oh all right then i was like dragging was, it way back i was going aquaman i'm like adrian aquaman, no what are you so, talking about you know there's uh i i, yeah. I get it now yeah yes. going back to the I, you brought it back it was the whole I mean, it was practically the a sub premise of the entire series yeah an aquaman movie that never really got that made. is true that and is true. uh um but yeah there's this is a superhero movie as we yeah um it's Tis the season for some superhero movies. And it's gonna, listen, <laughs> it's going to be superhero heavy until the fall. Yeah, we're going to be reviewing. We're, we're going to sprinkle some other things in there as well. Maybe, probably. We'll we'll, we'll try. We'll try. Yeah, I um, think there's. I think there's no fewer than fifteen superhero films coming out this year, though. Yeah, and they released another trailer today for mm-hmm. Spider Man. So. That's just another one. So we're kind of getting we'll into be there it. too. Um, but yeah, this is Aquaman of DC Justice League fame. Yeah, and, and this this film takes place in the in the somewhat newly created DC cinematic universe that is um, always changing. Yeah, and I'll I'll give it this. This was the best one of the lot so far. Yeah, very much. I think we even you know kind of said that, and you know the the little bit that we discussed it because we always try and keep. We like to keep the mystery alive, <laughs> and the mystery alive in our relationship. <laughs> That's right. Um, but we tried to keep, you know, it, it pretty short what we're discussing because yeah. otherwise we would run out it of things. Boring. To, we would sit here awkwardly because we've said it all. Um, but it was 
because I think that who had the helm before this, as far as DC, and I'm not including the Chris Nolan Batman trilogy when I'm saying this. I'm just talking in the recent years. Would be I think the highest grossing one was Wonder Woman. Oh yeah, 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 um, yeah. which was a very good m- movie uh, to me. I had recollections of the first Captain America movie. It was very much so. It was it was kind of similar, aside from of course you know not being Chris Evans and Marvel or American or true or an Earthling. It was, it was Am- Amazonian. Yeah. Yes. So not um, a human, actually. Well, yes, she's a god. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Um, I will be the first one to admit right now, as far as the DC movies are concerned, I have seen bits and pieces of Batman versus Superman. And I, enough. I've, and I saw one little short little thing along with trailers for Justice League. You also have seen enough. Right. So this was m- my first official introduction Okay. Other than trailers and little bit pieces and of, 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 of Wonder Woman. But as far as Jason Momoa oh, being oh, Aquaman, okay. this was you. my introduction. You. Well, even again in the Justice League movie, it really wasn't... He wasn't big in that movie. It wasn't... And this one almost seemed to take place a touch out of sequence. I'd have to go back and suffer through the Justice League again to well, really... Um, th- they did make a reference that I knew enough that they said that when um, the female lead, played by Amber Heard, um, shows up to talk to him. She said that he had just saved the world from oh, that's right. Steppenwolf. That's right. Wolf. So I'm yeah. guessing... That's kind of... Yeah, that does bring chron- it back. Chronologically, in. that it you know did take place um, a- after that. But I'm not going to... Yeah, sugar cut. I was very impressed by this movie. It was good. It was almost as if the writers at, at DC... Finally went and watched Iron Man 1. <laughs> right. Like they had been fighting it for so long. <laughs> it's like they finally, they're like, oh, this is why people like these movies so much. There's right. a good, healthy balance of action and drama and humor. And um, so I was, re- I for one was really pleased to see that DC wasn't as an entire entity has the tendency to go a bit darker. Yes. Than Marvel. Well, it just and, is what it is. And I think going, I will discuss the Chris, Christopher Nolan mm-hmm. Batman trilogy, which is the best to date. Um, yes. I think that DC saw that because it was a darker ver- story, version of that story that they went darker and they went more realistic with it, that they go, ooh. People, people dig it. People people dig this dark stuff. Yeah, and they they ran with that, and it didn't so much work out for them. Well, that and I think they brought in some weird storylines to go along with their newer films. Yeah, like had little bits and pieces of you know like twenty injustice. different story. Yeah, yeah, like there's a little bit of the injustice storyline sprinkled in. Um, you know, a little little pinch of new fifty twos in there. You know, right. so it's just I think they kinda hodgepodged it together. And threw it together. Because they were they were playing catch up. Right. By the time Batman versus Superman released to to kick this whole party off, the Avengers were already on their second film. Yeah, and they so were already DC rolling. was playing major catch up trying to get this thing off the ground. And to well, I think one of the things that immediately turned me off about it, Batman versus Superman was the, no. I'm I've, 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 I've like, he actually wasn't. He, you know what, Ben? I'm not going to sit here and hate that. for this, but he's not. He's not a bad Batman. It, yeah, he's. I think he's the more of t- true to character kind of one of one of the the bat the version that they were going movies for. Movies are concerned. The version they were going for. Oh, he's not my top Batman. No, no, no. But We've he's like the discussion. third best Batman. Yeah, he's up there. I mean, I on but, in movies. You, in movies, you and I have dis- discussed. I'm I, I enjoy You're pro ben, Affleck. I'm I am pro Affleck. Yeah, and, and I'm mostly pro Affleck. But every now and then he does things where I go, you know what? After the ta- on, after man. the town, there's no discussion. Yes, there is because he made bad movies. 
He made terrible, terrible movies. There's so many actors out there that make bad movies. Yeah, but he seemed to do it as like a career move. Like, I'm going to shift to making awful movies. He's like, you know what? I'm going to make, I'm going to work with some indie guys and do, you know, a couple of Kevin Smith films as a, as a small I was like, character. I was like, I love watch him it. there. I was like, no, no, no. See, this choose is, your next words carefully where, if you're going to be like, he, with he lowered himself and went to Ken, oh, no, 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 Kevin no, no, no. Smith movies. I thought. I thought his role in in that universe was brilliant. Yeah. And Goodwill Hunting. Yeah. Obviously, critics and the public agree. A yeah. fantastic film. Yeah. Um, and then he just, I mean, he started making some real crap for a while. Traffic. Yeah, I'm 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 not saying that there's not bad movies Daredevil. in there. That's that's a there mixed I said bag. It. It's a, it's, it's a not a mixed bag. bag. It was a terrible it, movie. Now, I don't know I'm not saying a... that his acting was bad. The writing, the writing is what killed that movie. Yes. And Jennifer Garner. Ben Affleck, he did as the best he could yeah. with a poorly written and directed film. Yeah. I mean, I was going to say you know, Colin Farrell is bullseye yeah, would be every... Everything else about the casting decisions, the writing, the directing, that was, was hot garbage. See, I wouldn't take it that far. But I'm just saying, like in comparison to the new Netflix, like, Dare, yeah, it's it, it blows it out of the water. In comparison to the 80s Spider-Man comic cartoon. Of him hanging from like a helicopter? Yeah. Okay. Okay, it was garbage. Well. So there. Okay. Whatever. The there was two good things about Ben Affleck's Daredevil before we get back to I know, I was like, our main event here that were okay, and that was the Kingpin and Awesome. Michael Clark Duncan. Yeah. And Ben Affleck, I, again, I'll say it, I'll admit it, he did the best he could. Yeah. All right. But it was still a bad movie. And he read the script before he signed up. So he should have known. I'll that. agree with that. Yeah. I'll agree with that portion of it. I've said, listen, and as then far there's... as superhero movies that I've ever seen, like, was it, was it Fantastic Four? No. I didn't say it was the worst superhero <laughs> that's, movie it was that's ever That's all made. I'm saying. That's all um, I'm saying. In my, in my realm of superhero movies, it was not, yeah. it was, it was not the worst. But anyways. Going ben, back. Yeah. yeah. Ben Affleck as uh, Batman and, ben Affleck, yeah, yeah. yeah, all that stuff. No, it was going to say, as far as Batman versus Superman, it was the, the decision to bring Doomsday in. Yeah. And it was just too many storylines, as you were kind of saying. Yeah, it was just, too, just stop, the just leave it. Them kind of fighting each other, becoming super friends at the end of it, da, and da, let's da, move da. along. Um, but that's what they decided. Yeah, so reluctant, this is, reluctant friends. Yeah, so yeah. this is <laughs> reluctant friends. That should be the new, <laughs> <laughs> not super friends, reluctant friends. That's the, that's the, new, of, that's the new name of the our, new version. Of our podcast. Um, but reluctant this is, friends. This is my first full-blown sitting beginning to end introduction to Jason Momoa as Aquaman and growing up as the Aquaman version of super friends of the, Mm -hmm. you know, listen, Aquaman's not a great, he's, he's, he's gotten a bad rap. He's he's not awesome. No, this made him awesome. He's usually, you know, it's only been recently that, that he's been portrayed as like a badass. Right. Usually he's kind of like, the wuss of the group. Right. That everybody's like, hey, we need to talk to some mm-hmm. fish. And the it's writers like, are really trying hard to yeah, find like, some like, use for him. I guess we have to go into the ocean. Yeah. Bring in Aquaman. We haven't used Aquaman in a while. Yeah. Um, but here, he he's portrayed as definitely a, a key member of the Justice League. Yes. Um, which I'm in. You yeah. Know, I, I, I like it. Yeah. Um, but he's just awesome. Yeah. I As just, an actor, even he did he. I'm I'm gonna make a bold statement yet again. I'm full of. I'm preparing. Bit. Yeah, just seatbelt on. Buckle up, son. Yeah. Um, I think that it is possible hmm. that Jason Momoa, if 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 the writers and directors don't screw it up from here on out, may have done just now for DC films what Robert Downey Jr. did for Marvel films. I think he may have brought people back in because you got to remember when, when Iron Man first came out. Oh yeah. 
We were all still recovering from Spider Man three. True. And just going, where where are we going from here? I think that largely America might have been fine with nobody making superhero movies anymore. Yeah, we at that point, at that point. At, at that, that juncture, point. I think people were all right. We've had some, you know, yeah. it, it was we tried. It was <laughs> Iron Man and then the Nolan <laughs> trilogy of of Batman that really DC, brought those yeah. comic book movies back. Oh yeah, and DC was was leading it to where I mean, seriously, like every other movie that's coming out this year is a superhero. Movie. Is a superhero movie. Yeah. So it's obvious that that's what the people want. Yeah. And I think that Jason Momoa brought people back in for DC. And I, I, I frankly, I think the timing is perfect with the end of the Avengers Infinity War saga. Just Whatever a they're doing months with away. It. Right. No one really knows what they're going to, how they're going to follow it up. What's going to happen afterwards. This is a great time for DC to come in and go. Let's we're grab re- some market share. Yeah, we're we're revamping some things, and I will make a statement as far as this. I don't think any, I can't think of any other actor, including Ben Affleck, that could have pulled off what Jason Momoa did in this movie. If it would have been anybody else, anyone else, this movie would not. No, it have would terrible. Stayed afloat. I don't know. So you're gonna go puns? I, right. Yeah, I'm always okay. I'm always dropping puns. Um, no, but I the humor, lot lots, lots of, of lots of humor. He he, and he was just good. Yeah, I mean, just all around, he did the dang job. Well, there's a lot of things where because it's a comic book movie, so there are some moments that could have been really super cheesy, and they were. And he called them out, like but. He even like owned it, right? Like he just addresses it. Ju- he came just short of breaking the fourth wall, like Several looking at times. the camera and being like, "Really? Yeah, really? doing his little eyebrow thing." Like, you really? know, we're in the. And I don't know. I don't know about you, but you know, have we decided we we've been tossing around the idea of not doing spoilers anymore? We're we gonna right. So we're we're doing our best. I promise. Yes. Um, but this movie's also been out for a while, so if, if you haven't you seen it already, and we spoil a little thing or two here, but we're not going to give away the whole plot. Right. Um, but one of one of the villains, the main villain, um, uh, King Orm, played by Patrick Wilson. Yes. And I think I know where you're going with the this, because whole, I've been... Yeah. The whole movie, I'm just thinking to myself, this reminds me so much of Will Arnett's character from Arrested Development. Yeah. And until you, you, because you had said that, even visually, I mean, you look at the dude's face and you're like, it could be cousins. He kind of has a Will Arnett look to it. But the whole movie, he's just, he's acting like that brother that no one really likes. Yeah. That no one really likes. And he, he wants to be in charge. So he's not really, he's not really sure why, like other than just, he wants to do turn war on the the mainland yeah he wants on, to on land wave people. war with the land dwellers the land dwellers because and it did i mean it hit us hard with some little environmental little bit of that you which know is, hey needed it's uh, needed stop throwing away your garbage in the ocean yeah um but also one of the big things about aquaman just <coughs> historically speaking mm. Is that he comes from he 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 does come from that standpoint. He's the protector of the ocean, right? So there were even comic issues back in the day where he talked, you know, where that that were focused on you know poaching and right. uh, littering and, and things of that. He nature. was Captain so, Planet before Captain Planet. No, he was just Captain Ocean. <laughs> Captain Ocean. Just Captain Ocean. <laughs> it was like if if one of the kids, what was it? Was it the 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 Asian girl in the in the trench coat that was the ocean part of that? I can't remember. Mm, I think so. Um, Way to bring it back, yeah. I was like, you know, he was just the Asian girl in the trench coat from Captain. Planet. In that, yeah. Um, agreed. It, you know, it, it was. I I I thought Nicole Kidman was great. Oh, she Nicole was Nicole Kidman. Plays his mother. Yeah, and then kind of, you know, yeah, she hold, holds that one, even though I. 
you know, because it's her being the queen of Atlantis and the dad, you know, she washes up ashore and the dad is she a lighthouse on, keeper. She goes slumming on land one night Let and comes me. back with Aquaman. And the first dude, first dude. Come to Just, yeah, the first I mean, guy she comes across. Um, but it was... Shacks up and, and has a little Aquaman. But it was a cool kind of message and it was like a strange, like crazy, like cool love story. I I agree. Like, it was a really, really cool love story that I'm like, I would have watched a movie just on the two of them. That's where... That was was the only only thing that I... Where I kind of maybe was disappointed um, was that this was his origin story film. Right. And it's a two and a half hour movie. It was a long one. And they spent seven minutes. Yeah. Origining him. Right. You and know? I was like, I, like within 10 minutes of the, of the opening scene, we're, we're, we're at, a, we're at full, we're in a submarine, grown, tattooed Jason Momoa, beaten up bad guys on a submarine. Doing it well. By and, the way. and well, yeah. yeah. Um, and they fill in a little bit of backstory. Um, in it, nice it every once in a while. is a good guy. I know, right? And up, upholding the good guy throughout. Because there's some where he's like, oh, hey. He's still a little shifty. You stay didn't in, know. Stay in true to character. Because it's William Defoe. I think he's just naturally shifty. I, I think he might <laughs> like, be. Like, but he was still the good guy. And you don't, you never get to see William Defoe as the good guy. Like, he's probably sitting at home watching the news right now. And somebody's just like, what's he up to? What's he up to? <laughs> yeah. Like, he's up to something. So I was waiting for the other shoot a drop if yeah. you will and, and i really for thought, him to be the bad guy yeah i, I really thing. thought he was going to be a turncoat at some point and good uh he, good for him he, he he brought it but there was some flashbacks i think is what you were saying yeah there, there was, was some flashbacks throughout. in there you know and and willem defoe's character um volko volko was the got to put a little extra base i know you did you like um that. What was um, his v- vizier? Yeah, he was, was. Which I was he like, he was basically the Jafar, Jafar <laughs> of, of, of Atlantis. That's as soon as I was like, is he Jafar? And uh, except for instead of you know betraying the the king, he actually betrays the unworthy successor. Yeah, you he's kind of helping Jason Momoa, you know, Aquaman become the the his, take the man his rightful post rightful place. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was a cool, you know, again, I would have, did you have more of that story that the, the parents, that was super cool little. Yeah. You know, and again, without giving too story. much away, it, it, it all worked out, yeah. but I, I really, I suppose they could have done, you know, his training stuff as a montage somewhere between the, the scene from the trailer when he's, you know, communicating right. with the sharks in the in the animals at the aquarium, but I think and, you get enough that yeah. it's like I didn't mind it. It was just kind of you're quickly kind of getting into setting up the villains of the story, and mm-hmm. I think a couple times we're like, well, that's going to come back to yeah, that's going to come back. That decision's going to come back to haunt him. And guess what? It, guess what? It it did. Well, and again, if you if you watched the trailers, right? You, you know, kind you, of, you know that there's some things that you're going to have to expect. Now, again, the trailers made me believe that Willem Dafoe is going to be a bad guy. So I was a little surprised there. Um, we got to see the introduction of the Black Manta. Yeah, which was I thought I really liked what they did with that because I don't know a whole lot about that character. But he's he's not a super he's not an iconic character for sure. He, you but know he is of a, him, but he is a a villain in in the canon, right. so to speak. And um, so it was kind of cool for them to bring him in. My my son is infatuated with the Black Manta for some reason. Like, okay. He just thinks he's super cool. I don't think no, he understands that he's like a bad guy. A bad guy, though. Yeah. Well, he just like, thinks his suit looks cool. You know, well, he kind of has that bug eye looking. For um, you know, umpteen years now, my youngest has been, you know, in fact, with, with Darth Vader. Yeah, she's like Darth Vader's the coolest. Okay. All right. I just because I'm a Star Wars dork, yeah. I, I mean, I don't go against it. I'm yeah, like, yeah, you don't want to, you don't want to discourage it. Right. That's. Um, he's a bad guy. But it makes you kind of worry and just be like, is this going to be like a, you know, 60 minutes thing later on where right. I was like, I should have. Should have seen it coming. I should have seen it coming. I suppose, you know, I mean, Darth Vader just means that she's, you know, thirsty for power. She wants to be in control. 
Right, she's so gonna is, be a take no have a take no prisoners I'm, attitude when she grows up. I'm, I'm At okay least with she's that. not like obsessed with the Joker. Right, 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 right. I'm. I mean, as if your far kid as, is super obsessed with the Joker, would seek help. Yeah, we got some huge concerns. Seek help because the Joker's messed up, <laughs> many levels, big time. Um, yeah, I just really enjoyed what they did, and I mean, he was cracking jokes throughout the whole yeah. thing. Well, again, I'll bring it back. It's like they finally were like, oh. This is the thing. This is why people like to, like to come to comic book movies. Yes, again, DC even in the books is darker than Marvel. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Just is what it is. Right. And so I think that they embrace that. I don't think DC is fully. They're I not, think they, they're not they, selling out. I didn't. I didn't get that vibe. Right. You they know, haven't hit the mark. You see them and you're just like, oh man, they're just doing a full cop out. Right. To to get butts in the seat. Right. And I just think listen, they hadn't if, hit the mark if yet. If they have to cop out to get butts in the seat, at least they delivered a high quality product. Oh, the yeah. CGI was Good. pretty amazing. There yeah. was a couple like there's a couple moments where I was like, "Wow." Yeah. I was like, um, "How did they do this?" You know, manta rays are one of my favorite creatures on God's earth. They did and, some cool and stuff. And there were some a couple of scenes. So for me, it was like ooh. Yeah. You know, cuz there was a couple of scenes where they're just vast groups of of mantas going through the ocean and I was just like that's really awesome and, yeah. they, and they did a really good job yeah which is cool because I've been talking with my kids lately they've gotten really into some crocodile hunter okay we know how that story ends it's true spoiler alert sting, sting well not a manta ray but it's a stingray yeah or whatever so as as beautiful as they are Plus keep your distance yeah keep your distance keep your distance um they spook easy yeah um but yeah, they did some really cool CGI in the you know soldiers that came up on on land and, and in an environment where I think it's really challenging. You know, I mean, I think creating a complete underwater environment in a digital format, I it's really tough to do. Yeah, I don't know whose job it is somewhere that's like um, I'm in control of doing hair water movements for. Yeah. Our, it was somebody had to code every strand of hair on Amber Heard's head. Yeah, and that was a lot of and a lot of fake hair, flaming red hair, a lot of fake red hair. Mm-hmm. And um, so they had to do all that, and I think they did great. There was a few times where I was like, the only thing I can't see is the wires, you know. Right. But I got to give him credit for taking. That's a huge challenge. Yeah, it's a huge, huge challenge, and they did it really well. Yeah, I think my only only complaint and i said this right after the fact is there was i don't want to say musical numbers because that makes it sound like it's musical but scenes where where they added music that wasn't just the film's score right to certain situations and it was kind of taking note from marvel because they've done a lot with music and scenes and whoever that music supervisor is Tone like, it down, Chachi. Like, like it just didn't work out a couple of times. Like it, well, it it, it really took me out of the movie. Where I was yeah. sitting there, I think I looked yeah, over at you enough to I, where I was like, "Really, bro?" I was like, "Pitbull doing Toto's Africa?" Yeah. Like what? Like, and it's just them walking up on a beach. It's it's not that they weren't in the they Caribbean. They weren't in Africa at the moment. No, that was yeah. Like I, I don't. I think that maybe. They, for some reason, they were on their way to Africa. Yeah, they were trying to do something. The music supervisor was trying to do something He's cool. And to, was, it's and like, I think maybe he was trying to play to the fact that, you know, Jason is obviously a, a Pacific Islander. Right. Um, and so is Pitbull. And maybe trying to, you know, bring those worlds together. You know, they didn't want to use... Leave those worlds Weezers. apart. <laughs> they didn't want to use Weezer's new cover of Africa. Which is a really good cover. This is yeah. some rambling with the chorus from. Yeah, it was, it was a lot of, you yeah. know, with doing his pit bull thing. Yeah. And uh. <laughs> just rambling and you're just, what is going on? And it's just them walking, walking up on the beach. I it was a little questionable decisions. Were right. Made. They weren't having a party on the beach. No, they no, weren't. They were not. All they were doing is just walking out of the ocean onto the beach. Being super people. And we start having a pit bull dance party yeah and what it just wasn't my there was a couple moments where it was and the, there was some not that it was the worst one but it was them when they were they were in italy at one point just walking around like this little thing and instead of using like some kind of italian music or something yeah. it was some weird 
folky pop yeah it was something just, and it i was, was just strange it didn't it did not take me to Italy. a sicilian hillside right. like it should have right it should have just been some background yeah you know would have been just fine yeah great you'd be like you know what i'm would've in italy. just fine i'm in italy yeah. so but i mean I, I, that's it for all my you know pros and that one car yeah it was i a quickly minor, got over it it was a minor thing and Overall, I enjoyed the movie. I I very much enjoyed the movie a lot. I I had heard enough that I was like, I'm probably going to enjoy this movie, but I'm not going to set myself up for disappointment by going, I'm going to see Aquaman and it's going to be awesome. And what did I just watch? I built built up Suicide Squad too much in my head. Yeah, don't do that. It was not good. Don't do that. So I love that. I love the concept. I built it up big in my head. I was like, you know, listen. Jared Leto, I'm a fan. Not as the Joker. Did not hit the mark. Not as you the know, Joker. Margot Robbie has done some amazing work in some amazing films. It just didn't translate to that one. Yeah. You know, so I, I I see where you're at with that. You know, you don't want to build it up too much in your head because let's face it, DC has let us down. Yeah. I've I'm a lot in the in the near history. Yeah. Listen, I I always go back to one thing I you know uh, one of my buddies, and it's a big old thing. He, every time that he was like, "This is the best movie that I've ever seen." It's the worst movie of all time. I will never get the time. Howard the Duck. So it becomes a joke of just like, "Well, this movie's gonna sink because he yeah. thinks it's the best movie he's ever seen." And you know, I, I got that with you need to go see Cabin in the Woods. That's like the best horror movie I've ever seen, and I rented it, and I will never get that time back in my life. Yeah, I, I, I watched a movie. I won't even say the name of the movie on air because... It's that bad. I don't want to be associated with watching it. Um, but yeah, my my lovely wife and I watched a movie just last night, actually. And I was like, huh. I don't... Let's, yeah. Not know how you I feel about that. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> Like it, yeah. it was like the movie was over abruptly, yeah. by the way. And I was like, just sit there just perplexed as to yeah. what the actual you just watched. And it was, yeah. Yeah. I think that uh, my wife and I watched one recently and it ended and we're just like, okay. All right. So that, that, that was a happened. movie. That was a movie. <laughs> Somebody... Somebody paid to make that. But yeah, kind of go back to that. I was, yeah, I, I, I didn't want to set myself up too much for it. Um, but I was very, very su- surprised, not surprised, but very, very happy with what the outcome was. Absolutely. DC, um, take notes. Do this again. Yeah. Keep on this same track. Lot, um, lots of good humor. Um, Jason Momoa is kind of the, if the fish out of water story. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> but it, but it, in a way I mean, it was because he was he, was, he wasn't from Atlantis. He was from both worlds, both worlds. But he'd never been to Atlantis, and so there was a lot of jokes of like whatever, and yeah. them hiding in the mouth of a whale. And he can talk, talk to about the animals, man. I know, but he, but then him you should be like, oh, it's, I'm going to Pinocchio this situation. They yeah. don't know what Pinocchio is. No, not at all. In fact, when you she know, finds she out, she does find out later on. And she's like, really. From that children. thing we did from 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 this children's you, book, yeah. Which then he drops one of the greatest lines, which he's like, "Oh, it's a book. That's cool." He's like, "I <laughs> got the idea movie. from a movie." Yeah, <laughs> like it was just a like, and then just walks away. Yeah, it's like, All right, like cool. Like that's what's happening. So. Yeah. So, um, um, well, so what's I think the the consensus verdict is if you can catch say, it before yeah, it, I um, say hurry, hurry and see it. Yeah, go see it if you want a good popcorn comic book movie. In the wintertime. I mean, it's not Schindler's List, so understand that it's not I don't bad. know why I said Schindler's <laughs> List. I went that far you went, with you it. You went but, real dark and deep with that. Well, no, but I'm just saying it's not, you know, yeah. it, it, it's, if you're wanting like a very serious, realistic. Yeah, this, this is one's a, not going to be a, there's, there's, there's lots no of tear-jerking to, moments. No. There's just some good comic book popcorn yeah. comedic fun. You know what? It actually brought me back a lot to... Uh, Toby Maguire's first Spider-Man as well. Okay, you know it just it it felt William Defoe. Well, maybe that, maybe that. that had something to do Other with it. It that? just felt good. Yeah, 
You know, you're like just, I, when I saw the first that first Spider Man movie, I was like, Yeah, they that did was something really right. Good. They did something. I right. really enjoyed that. Any movie with Dolph Lundgren, man. Right. I mean, this uh, the cast was great. Dolph yeah. Lundgren. Yeah, Willem Dafoe. Yeah. Um. Oh man, there's another one that I'm missing. Um, Australian lady, red hair, Amber Heard. Other Australian lady with red hair, Nicole Kidman. That one. There you go. You know, so I mean, I was like red hair or red hair. Red hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the older one. <laughs> the older one. <laughs> the mom, not the girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. So yeah, Nicole. Yeah, just a lot of big names. Um, the guy that played Django Fett. Yeah. The dad. I know Star Wars. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they did some good age regression did, him with um, him. I they didn't have to actually, with Nicole uh, Kidman. They Well, they didn't have to. Yeah. You'll have to see the movie to find out why. So there were, and I'm counting this because I was watching the credits and I couldn't keep up with it because um, there's one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven different actors played Aquaman in this film. What? Seven different actors were used to to play him at different stages of his life. There was, oh, because there's little baby there, one, yeah, and then there's, there's the There's two okay. different three-year-olds, um, four different three-year-olds, wow. and then a nine-year-old, a 13-year-old, a 16-year-old, and then yeah. the, main of, the main event. Yeah, which... You know, oh. so, I mean, they, they dug deep, in the crates for that one to, to make that happen and, yeah. and look believable. And they did a really good job. Yeah. All of them so. looked like younger versions of Jason Momoa. And Absolutely. again, he, he brought it. So I, I dug it. I dug it. I was in. So, so see, that's it. it for us. You say, see it. Absolutely. Go see it. Go it's see probably it. not going to be around for too much longer. We no. kind of dilly dallied around and, and weren't able to get to it until kind of late in its run, but absolutely go see it if you still can. And uh, if you haven't already and you miss it, listen, watch it at earliest convenience. Watch it at your, just buy the digital pre-order when it comes out. Yeah. You'll get stuff. it a few days earlier than everybody else and it's worth it. Yeah. I'll probably add it. it to my collection. So. I will. I will. I will. Um, yeah. So, so that's yeah. it for us. Um, yeah. Thank you Thanks. guys all so much for watching. Thanks for checking Thanks in. Thanks for your support. And um, until next time, he's Tucker. He's Beard. We're out.